Quilters. My name is Erica and I'm AccuQuilt's Corporate Marketing Specialist. And I'm Pam, AccuQuilt's Cutting Expert. Welcome to our Stars and Strips launch party. Yay! Yay! Now as you might have noticed, we're starting today's show off just a little bit differently. Lynn will not be joining us for today's show. That's right. Lynn right now is dreaming up all sorts of new products and yep. promotions for you. She is. But don't worry. She'll be back just in time for the August 3rd show. And I think when she comes back, we have a mug for her we as do. well. We do. We do. Okay. We know you're going to all want them. Just be patient. They'll be up on the website soon. soon. I know. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? We all love right. them. All right. Speaking of shows, let's get right into our stars and strips. All righty. Now, I'm super excited about today's dye launch because they're going to give quilters even more creative possibilities, right? That's right. Pam. So we already have 16 uh, strip so dyes. And now we've got two more for a total of 18. Right. We've been having a lot of fun using these new dyes already on our projects. They've already kind of sparked a little uh, creativity there. They have. Let's get this party started. We're so excited to show off what we've been working on behind the scenes just for you. That's right. We've got some great prizes, exciting project ideas, a super inspirational yes. trunk show, and special offers available only today. So let's not wait any longer. Let's see our new dies. Cutting fabric strips has never been easier. With the introduction of the new two and three quarter inch and six inch widths, AccuQuilt now has 18 different strip dies to enhance your quilting. Strip dies are versatile, easy to use, and give you perfect straight cuts every time. Just take a look. AccuQuilt strip dies have only lengthwise blades, allowing quilters to cut width of fabric strips, long continuous strips, and even bias strips. Strip dies make binding a snap, letting you cut an entire queen size binding in just one pass through a go cutter but strip dies can do so many other things as well. Screen printed angle guidelines in the dies will help you cut stacks of squares, plus 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree diamonds in just seconds. Create the quickest four patch blocks ever by sewing strips together, then cutting them across the die, perfect every time. Use narrow strip width dies to create sashing and inner borders. Wider widths are perfect for borders to frame and set off your projects. The innovative multi-strip die has three different sizes on it, a great way to use your scraps and upcycled fabrics. Fans of patterns using popular pre-cut two and a half inch strips will love being able to create their own strips for fun projects with none of the time or hand and arm strain often associated with rotary cutting. Simply lay your fabric on the die, cover with a mat, and cut. All of AccuQuilt's dies, including the 18 different strip dies, are safe, accurate, and easy to use, leaving you more time to sew and create because AccuQuilt wants to help you cut time so you can quilt more. All right, quilters, these new strip dies are expanding our strip collection yes. and giving quilters even more options. I just love them all, and I love that you can just continue to add to that collection. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Our ghost strip die cutters are a must whenever you're cutting a lot of strips or just a few strips. Yes. The blades on those dies are 23 inches long, and they're open at both ends. They're designed to cut folded fabric right off the bolt up to six layers at a time. Erica, let's tell our quilters how they can get their hands on one of our new dies. All right, here comes our deal quilters. Until midnight central time, you will get 20% off your entire order using the promo code STRIP20. So that means, because they somebody's lost their mind, clearly. They do not know that this is happening. I know, they okay. can't. But Lynn's gone. Lynn's so, gone, so we're going to do what know, we, we want. get to do. Okay. So that means you can take 20% off of both of the new strip dies, as well as many other AccuQuilt items. I mean, cubes for as low as $130. This yes. is crazy. Yes. This is crazy. The Ready, Set, Go, less than $270. Oh, my gosh. And we'll ship it to you free. All right, now we already have some markdown items. So when you use strip 20 on eligible items, you can get up to 44 
44. That's the number, that's our age. Our age. Imagine that. So that ready, set, go, that's included in that. So, yeah. oh, I mean, it's, it's no just it's so fabulous. Old. Yeah, right. up to 44%. Great deals. Be sure to check the website for details. And if you spend more than $150 and live in the contiguous U.S., we will ship your order free. Now, remember, this special is only available for a limited time, so take advantage of it before it's gone. That's right. To place your order during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image over there on the screen. Right there. It'll take you right to the site. Now, if you don't have access to a QR reader and you want to open a new tab in your browser, go to the top of the page and click on that plus sign. In that very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party to place your order. That way you won't miss a minute of our show. That's right. You can also find these new dies individually on our website or from your local AccuQuilt retailer. Now, to find the retailer closest to you, go to the top right side of the website and use our store locator. And, okay, so let me get this straight. The new dies included in that the 20... The new dies are included because I'm thinking that somebody must have made a mistake because we never do this. We never do that. But Lynn's not here today, so... We're going to do it. You get to take Til advantage midnight. of it. <laughs> All right. Now, as as we, know is our die, we know our dyes and fabric cutters are an investment. So AccuCold offers fast and easy financing and installments with split pay options. For more information on financing through AccuCold, visit AccuCold.com slash finance. All right, quilters, if you enjoy watching our live shows, then we know you're going to like watching our behind the seams <laughs> yes. videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Yes, that's right. You'll gain exclusive access to our dream studio, and you're going to see all the fun that we have before this show starts. Often you will see me in my glasses. Yes. And shoes, like, because we think from here up is beautiful, but <laughs> then we're wearing, and like, underneath khakis. underneath the table, they, they, yeah. Khakis and sandals. And, and tennis. So we also love to share our, your stories on of your quilts and more on our social media pages. We sure do. So be sure and follow us so you don't miss out on all the great content. All right, quilters, for today's launch, we have a challenge, of, of course, course we and do. it's a good one. We challenge two of our experts to inspire us with their ideas using our two new strip dies. I think this is gonna be a great idea. I do too. I'm excited about I do this. Too. First up, we have Barbara. Barbara is a quilter and a seamstress and a teacher who has made hundreds of quilts and has owned her AccuQuilt Go for over 10 years. She credits much of her award-winning quilt success to the accurate cuts her system provides. Now, Barbara will be making projects for us today using that large six inch strip die. I am already intrigued by that pink and white quilt behind her. I know, her. I already. already. I'm intrigued. But next up, we have Marianne. Now, Marianne has been sewing since she was eight years old, and since then, she's turned quilting into a full-time passion. She really has. Before she started using AccuQuilt, she could only make three or four quilts a year, but now she's creating dozens of projects. Marianne's going to be inspiring us with her projects using AccuQuilt's small strip dies. So this is gonna be great. So Barbara's using bigger strips and, and yep, um, yep. Marianne's using smaller strips. All right, so Erica, let's check in with our experts to see how they're going to use our strip dies. Barbara, tell us what ideas are floating around in your quilting head. Yes, Erica and Pam, I love big blocks and I can't wait to show you all that I've made with it this new six inch strip cutter. The first thing I did was make some squares. I cut some outdoor utility fabric, matches my daughter's patio furniture, and this is for a patio table. I simply made the squares um, and then cut, use my alphabet, three inch alphabet die and made the X's and O's to go with it. I also made a checkerboard right here. If you know any um, AccuQuilts already has a checkerboard pattern out there using a different or a smaller die, I just made mine bigger. So anything that you can make with the strip dies, you can make with the new six inch strip die, it's only gonna be bigger. Now we made some coffee can pieces and that's what we use. So if they get lost, it's not a big deal. Also, the, it's great for those summer nights when it's cool outside. Um, gets too cold, you can wrap up in it. Next, I went on to use the strip die to showcase some of this beautiful fabric that I had. I started out doing a rail fence and then changed it up a little bit. I do have this blank space right in here. I can use, it's big enough for any types of appliques. You could put a scripture, you could put a saying, 
but um, just look how these wide six inch strips um, show up in the fabric, the print of the fabric show up on it. Next, I moved on and I did some angles because it has these angle guides on here. I'm going to suggest that you get a six by 12 mat and a six by 24 mat because you may just want to cut the angles and not necessarily cut the entire strip. Right here, I did some chevrons. I paired my six inch strip with a black strip. I used the four and a half inch strip die for that. I cut them on the 60 degree angle and look, look what I get here. Now I did put a strip between here. You can always move it over and have it like that. The next thing I want to show you is the, if you have the large drunkers path, this measures six inches right here. Fits perfect with your strip. So you can pair this with the drunkard's path and get some unique designs that way as well. One more thing I want to show you are some big bold strips. Look at this. This block measures 30 inches. Anything you want to make, you can just make it bigger with the new big six inch strip die. I'll be back because I have a big idea. Oh, she is so clever. She is so clever. So first of all, I love that second project that had the big prints yes. and the purples and the blues yes. and how stunning. Just like a giant log cabin. Yeah. I've been captivated by that. Yeah. And then the one where she used Jarncourt's path that looked like a minion to me. It did. Banana. Banana. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, in case you are new to our show, our experts are going to be revealing their final projects later. After they do, we'll ask you to vote on your favorite one. So you need to make sure you stick around for all the fun. All right, so let's take a up close and personal look at our strip yes. die. So I'll take this one here. So Erica, this is our new six inch strip die. That's right. Okay, I really, really do like this. You and I both tested these dies mm -hmm. before we released them and I just thought it was great. So a couple of things you're gonna notice, it just has two blades, one and two. Right, so okay. it's gonna cut that one six inch strip. Right, no blades down here and no blades down here. Right. And do you wanna talk about those guidelines? So those guy angled guidelines are to help you multitask with your strip die. Now, a lot of times new quilters or people that are new to our strip dies think that maybe there are blades underneath yes. these strips and there aren't. So that's really important to know because I know it's confusing for a lot of people when they first start looking at our strip dies. We're gonna show you how it works. Now, because there aren't any blades across the ends, like Pam already showed you, that means that you can lay your fabric any which way you want on your die. It doesn't right. care. So you can cut lengthwise grain, you can cut with the fabric strips. You can cut bias you, on your die. There's Any no of those die things, police. There's no die police, and this die is going to welcome you to do so many different things with it. Yep. So we're going to show you how that works. We are. So what we did was, here, I'll put it this way. Okay. Um, so what we did was, this is a six-inch strip, so we just added a quarter of an inch on either side mm -hmm. and just rough cut with the fabric. And then Erica is going to show you how to lay it. Yes. Down. Now we're going to cut with the fabric strips, but if we wanted to cut continuous border strips, we could f take our yardage and fan fold up and down. As long as our folds at either end are inside the blade ends, we're going to get continuous cuts. Yeah. And that way you don't have to piece your borders. And I love that. That's super cool. So we're cutting with the fabric strips. So I'm going to lay those on and I want to use this line down here to make sure I'm squared up. I'm gonna lay it there. And we've got a nice wide strip, so we're cutting a nice big print on this, like we saw Barbara do with some of her projects. Too. And we cut the salvage edge off because you're not gonna need it We're anyway. not gonna need it anyway, that's right. Okay, so then of course, we've got four layers here, but you can do up to six. You can. We're gonna put a mat on it, because without a mat, what happens, Pam? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Kay. Now, I like to put the folded end in first. I do as well. So. I'm okay. gonna give it, which way are you cutting? Uh, we'll cut this direction. Okay, so, so my we'll, fold's down here. Yep, we'll flip it this okay, way. Okay, there you go. Okay, now remember, okay, I don't wanna hit this cute little star that's on I our know. set. Um, remember, quilters, we don't have to worry about lengthwise green. So we're just gonna run it through. That's it's right. on a 10 by 24 die board, so it'll fit our go and our go big and our studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. That's right. Okay, and I love cutting strips with my dies because they're so accurate. 
You know, it's so funny you say that. I have a good friend um, who forever said, oh, why do I need a strip dye? I can cut strips. And you know what? Now she only cuts with a strip dye because then they're perfect and every they're perfect. single time. So here's our strips. And you can see, and the first thing a quilter does, new quilters, Pam and I both know, the first yes. thing they do is they pull it out and they go like this because they want to see if there's a dipsy doodle right there at the yes. top. And there isn't. There's none. So there you go. Then it's nice straight, and straight. Nice and, flat. and straight across. You can't even tell where that fold is. All right. So Erica, let's show them our strip dye magic. Let's do. And this works with all of our strip dyes that have a single size strip. Um, so we're going to make some squares. We are. Are you going to use yours down? Yep. I'm going to shoot. Oh, bless you. <laughs> bless you. Sorry. Sorry, Joe. I think I just blew his ears out. Yes. He's listening to our mics. So we're just going to fan fold back and forth yep. there at 90 degrees because we're going to make squares. Now, quilters, you can start right down here. You could. And then go all the way down the die board mm -hmm. at, 60, at 90 degrees. And because we can multitask, we're going to cut some big diamonds at big 60 diamonds. degrees. Yeah. So we're going to do exactly like Barbara said. We're going to line it up right here at 60 degrees. And we're going to fan fold back and forth. Now, here's the trick, quilters. You need to make sure that the fold comes past the edge now, of the blade. Right, and we're not going to quite have a full diamond. No, so here, let's do this. So, let's do it this here, way. Here, pull it down a little bit. Can we pull it down just a hair? Is I was gonna just going to open it up. Oh, okay. Go let's do it. that. I know, when we work together here, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go back and forth. I don't want to knock How my little How many quilters does it take to? Cut diamonds, cut I diamonds. know. But just think of how cool these are going to be because they're going to be so nice and big. And they're going to be so much easier and more accurate than any other way you would have cut them. Yep. All right. So now let's put a mat on all right, top. Yep. There we go. Whoops. We're just knocking stuff down. We are down. knocking stuff all over. See, Lynn's away and we're just making all kinds of things happen. There okay. we go. I can there start. Go. Look at me. She knows how to turn a handle and everything. I do. You know, Oakley, my granddaughter, who just turned seven, she's been doing this for years. John Roberts has been turning oh, the handle yeah. as well, oh, right? Yeah. Christopher, too, and he's only three. So. Yeah. And that's one of the other things that's really nice about the dies because those blades are surrounded by the foam. They're very safe. I would not let any of these children, any of our grandchildren, oh, loose with a rotary cutter. No way. And I think Joe probably wouldn't let her kids loose with them either, and yeah. even though they're older. Oh, there we go. But... They're very safe and for them to use. All right, so let's show them what we cut. Let's do. This is so slick. Okay, how quick was that? And I cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect six squares. Inch squares. Now I'm going to show you. Let's here. Can we move this yes, die? Let's and I'll do. show you how to make. I'll get it out. Diamonds, sir. Right. <gasps> Isn't this fun? This is so cool. I love this big print on here. And diamonds, you can do so many things with it. So mm -hmm. you could do, you could do a, a star like this. Like you could Barbara do did. chevrons. Mm -hmm. But but think about using and making a giant tumbling block. <gasps> yes. We saw that tumbling block quilt at the quilt museum. Think about doing that. It looks like pizza there. I'm so I, I'm just so. Guys, once you get started cutting these, you're going to come up with so many different ideas it's for them. just amazing. It just really amazing. is. You're going to come up with all kinds of things. So let's take a look at our other strip die, okay? Okay. Because we've got... But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Okay. All right, so we're going to do... This one is our two and three quarter inch strip. Now, you're going to notice on this particular die, there are actually three sections right. of two and three quarters. And there are four blades. One two, three, four. Just like the other one, there's no blades down here, no blades down here. Mm -hmm. So we did the exact same thing where we measured across, added a quarter of an yep. inch on either side, and we just have one strip to show you how to do yep. today. But that's gonna give you two layers. Yep. And we're gonna get three width of fabric strips out of this. Yep. And then I bet our... In we're going to have some more inspiration to follow. Oh, my, yes. yes. And the great thing, um, okay, I'm going to tell you, I only cut strips with a die. Only. I don't care if I just need to cut three. Because only. I've wasted so much fabric trying to cut straight strips. And the ruler slips. The ruler strips. you don't have it lined up right, or so yeah. many things that can happen. Now, this is our Go Fabric Cutter. It's part of our Ready, Set, Go. And don't forget, there's that fantastic price on it today. Yes. So it comes with an eight inch cube and a two and a half inch strip die. 
And um, this two and three quarter one, it works it makes perfectly with the nine inch cube. It does. So the nine inch cube's on sale today. It's under $130. So if you don't have a nine inch, get one to go with your two and three quarter inch strip die here. All right, hey, let's see if I can do it a better. We give it a little love because it is super static. It here is, in the and I didn't studio. do so so well the last time. Okay, there we okay. go. I'm just gonna pull off those edges. Okay, now see right here. There's one I little. I know thread. it got it got too. Okay, look. It got too close to the edge. Right. So I make, was talking. Make sure quilters that it comes yep. before that black line. Yep. Because I didn't put it right. That's okay. <gasps> All right. There you there go. There we go. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. And the same thing is going to work with these. So we can go ahead and do the same thing mm -hmm. with squares, just like we did. Yep. And we could do the same thing with our 60-degree diamonds, too. Yes. So again, anything that you can do, and that's the fun thing that we really started exploring, was being able to do some of those fun things that we think about doing with our smaller strip dies with the big ones. Right, right, I, you know, like tumbling blocks. Yeah, You know, right. tumbling blo blocks are great. We typically make them with a two and a half inch strip, but I do love that bigger one. That bigger I think it's one. great. Yeah, yeah. So again, the Ready, Set, Go, don't forget, it's on sale today, to under $270. It's amazing. Perfect. And that nine inch cube, which works perfectly with our two and three quarter inch strip, is just $130. And so you should may as well get the companions to go with it too while you're at you it. You might. Because right? it's all about creativity and it's all about having the options available for you so that you can create whenever you want to and whatever you want to. Look at those perfect squares. Look at those. Squares super hard to cut. You know, just they saying. are. They are hard to cut, and they're hard to cut accurately. And then you run into this whole, well, where on where do you lay your ruler, and mm -hmm. where do you? It's just, yeah. And closers, don't forget these videos live on our Facebook page and our oh, website, I love that. so you can come back and watch this. So if at the end of the day you say, oh, how did Pam and Erica cut those diamonds and squares? Come back and watch. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. All kinds of fun. All right, quilters, we're going to check in with our experts shortly to see what they're making. But I think we should get this party started by giving some stuff away. What do you think, Erica? Good idea. All right, our first winner is going to receive the two and three quarter inch strip die. The first winner is, drum roll please, Tessa T from Doral, Florida. Congratulations, Congratulations. Tessa. All right. She's going to love it. She is. All right, Miss Tessa. Our second winner is going to get the six inch strip cutter. Now, I hope you show us what you make with it. The second winner is, drum roll please. Jennifer H. from Columbia, Tennessee. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, she's gonna have such a great time with that big. Oh, I absolutely. Love it. The borders, oh, it's so many ideas. Great. Yeah, the creative little, little things little happening. Little creative voices, those quilty voices, right? They are all in our head. Don't forget about our special deal, Quilters, until midnight central time. You're going to take 20% off your entire order using the code STRIP20. That means you can take 20% off both of our new strip dies, which never, ever, ever happens in the yeah. AccuQuilt world, yeah. and many other AccuQuilt items. Don't forget that when you use this code on items that are already marked down on our website, you can save up to 44% on it, like our Ready, Set, Go. Right. It's now, awesome. Quilters, we know you don't want to miss a minute of our launch party, but this special is only available for a limited time, so be sure you take advantage of it before it and what you want to order are gone. All right, let's check in with Marianne and see what she's making. Marianne, what sort of inspiration do you have for us? Pam and Erica, thank you for having me back. Well, I have to tell you, there's nothing small about this strip. This is a small and mighty strip. I am using the two and three quarter inch strip, and I'm going to pair it with both a two and a quarter and a one and a half inch strip. So let's see what my inspiration is. Uh, first of all, did you know that the chimney sweep die takes a two and three quarter inch strip? Thank you very much, Sharon Miner, for that tip. Uh, that was really a cool one. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is an old rag rug. My grandmother made it probably 75 years ago, and I have quite a few of them. And I realized if I took this strip die, I could make rag rugs. But I also could modernize them and make them easier for the sewing machine. So let me show you what I did. 
I first took some old material that I had. It was a heavyweight material. I thought it was a really good idea. I cut the two and three quarter inch strips and folded them in four and sewed it down the middle. And then I crocheted them. I found it a little tight, but I kind of liked the idea. So I decided to keep going. And then I went and found some old jersey material. This is old dress material, some salvage I had. And I kind of liked it because it's similar on both sides. So I used a really super duper large size hook and I started crocheting and I'm going to make a really thick, plush, comfy bath rug from it. And then I said, well, you know, I really want to do my sewing machine. Uh, not everybody crochets. So I took the two and three quarter inch strip die and I cut two and three quarter inch batting folded them together, used a zigzag stitch, and I've made placemats with it. So this is pretty cool. And it was a plaid material I used. While I was crocheting, I was thinking about other projects and I realized I could make a flange binding. So I took the two and a three quarter inch strip and the two and one quarter inch strip, which is that narrow one you use for like quilt bindings, and I sewed them together um, making sure the purple is the wider one, the two and three quarter, that's going to be your detail. So I sewed them together like this. It was a, actually an ombre fabric that I used and I used it to frame this picture, which I had had hanging around for probably a couple of years because I didn't like it and I didn't know how to finish the border. So I put the flange binding on, I used the ombre fabric and I actually liked it so much. I said, you know what? It looks like it's framed. So I call this my framed border, my frame flange border. Isn't that cool? Anyway, let me move on. I got a few more things to show you that are really kind of cool. And this I did, I did a, uh, a runner, a table runner, and I used a one and a half inch strip die and I sewed all these pastel solid colors together and they were scraps I had left over from another project. And then I cut them into two and a three quarter inch strips with the gray ones, alternated them, sewed them together. And I also used the two and three quarter inch strip for the binding. Uh, having looked at that and I'm thinking about this frame border, I really liked it. I started thinking about attic windows. I found this old uh, lighthouse material and I made attic windows. Um, I also actually found this old lighthouse and that actually brings me to the project, my challenge project. But first I want to play a little clue for you. On the way to Kate. That's my clue. Stay tuned. Oh my goodness, Marianne, she is always full of so many creative ideas. I do, and I love her, how she was making her old fashioned rug rag, yes, a rag rug. Yes, she had, I mean, I wouldn't have even thought about that. No. And I love the wide flange that she made. Yes. It did just look like a frame. Yes. I'm curious so to see what she does with two that. Two and a half and two and three quarters, which are new ones. Yeah. All right. Ooh. All right, we've talked about strips. Now let's take a look at some stars. So. Here is our stars die. Now, I love this classic five point star. It's just perfect for so many projects, don't you think? Oh, all the time. And this die is such a great value because you get three different sizes of stars on one bar die board. You get the two, three, and four inch stars. And Erica, did you know there's a free embroidery download for each of the stars? Each of the stars with three different stitches, a blanket stitch, a motif stitch, and a satin stitch. And I did know because I made this table runner that we've got here and I used a satin okay. stitch on it. That's an additional $16 value to our fun die here. That's right. So with today's deal, you get the die and the embroidery for $29.99, saving you $10. Excellent. So that is a great deal. So here's our little table runner. You can see that we've got the stars. We've done the blanket stitch and just kind of overlapped them and layered them. And you them. used wool with this, yes. I used wool with it. I, Which I, I think had the is wool great. and I decided to use it for that. Just kind of fun, something different. And um, it just was fun. It went together really, really easily. So Let's cut something, shall Let's we? Let's cut something. So All right. um, the great thing about our dies is only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. So if we wanted to cut a bunch of little stars, we could, or big stars. But today we're going to just cut all we're three just of cut. them. That's right. And we've already pre-fused our cotton fabric. Right. And which means, Erica, what? Well, normally we can cut six layers of quilting cotton. Mm -hmm. But once you put that fusible on, it's going to count as half a layer. Right. So we can cut up to four layers. Now we're going to cut two. We've got okay. it there. Now, when I was cutting the wool, it was a little bit thick. I think I used oh. maybe one or two layers on right. that. Right. And, okay, you can also cut other fabrics. You can cut uh, flannel and felt and denim and wool. You can use cork or minky. 
I have cut craft foam oh, forever absolutely. with absolutely. our star dies. You could make gift bags, mm -hmm. you could make cards. I mean, this is, again, we were talking about our grandkids. Yes. Not that, you know, we love our grandkids or anything, but no. we were talking about our grandkids. This is such an easy way because Oakley, John, they're not going to be cutting perfect five-point stars. No. But they can put craft foam on here and glue mm -hmm. it onto a card and make their own little cards. Yeah, it's really for fun. Christmas or Fourth of July. We have a lot of craft foam dinosaurs cut oh, with the dinosaur die. Oh, for days yeah. we have dinosaurs that cut. All right, here we go. Oakley loves that one. And gnomes. Do you not have gnomes, oh, gnomes for days? yes. And I cut out a whole bunch of the gnomes when I was kind of playing with them for, for, again, some little inspiration, some different ideas and some blog ideas. And John found them all, and he sat and played with those gnome pieces for like half an hour. And I bet they're in sale with that 20% off strip yep, 20. Absolutely. Okay, so oh. normally we give it love and slide don't love, but I <laughs> obviously so did not static. do that. Obviously, there I did not so much do that. Static. There we go. All right, we'll we got stars all over the place. We have stars for days. Okay, cool. Do you see how hard it is to cut stars by hand? Nobody should do that. But they're it's just like perfect. snowflakes. And Look you can use them for nighttime things. You can use them for. You can you can use that glow in the dark craft <gasps> foam. Is and there glow in the dark craft. I foam? believe there is. Yeah, Ooh. and you could just run it through, and then you could glue them on. Ceilings Ooh. and stuff. Oh, fun! I know. Look how fun that is. So stars so and many strips. Ideas. We should show you the stars. There we go. All right, quilters. We are going to give away two more go items: a storage rack and a go star die. Okay, Erica. Which one should we give away first? Our third giveaway winner will receive. Hmm. hmm what do you think? A storage rack. Okay, let's do it. All right. The winner of this prize is Maestro. Shirley T. from Wichita, Kansas. Congratulations, oh, congratulations Shirley. Congratulations, Shirley. Wichita is just down the road a piece. It is, not too far. That means our fourth winner today will receive our star die. I use it all the time. The winner of this die goes to... Beverly P. from Germantown, Maryland. Congratulations. congratulations. Hey, share your projects with us today. We'd oh, love yeah. to see what you're making with them. I feel like you're going to come up with... Uh, Lots of ideas. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Erica, we have some other stars in the show. Isn't that right? Besides us? Yes. Oh. And the Miss Gibney. She's gone today. Um, but we have a couple of storage dies to sh our storage racks to show you. So, we have two types of storage racks. Eric and I have them both. Yes, we okay. do. First is our smaller go rack. Mm -hmm. I like to use this die to keep the dies that I'm working on a project yes. just handy right there. Because right. sometimes, especially if I'm using a cube, like that nine inch cube, yes. you're gonna have three or four blocks or dies out to right. make whatever you're gonna make for your block. Right, and it helps my creativity when I keep my area a little bit more organized. Oh yes, otherwise you're just looking for stuff. And sometimes I'll keep those dies out until I'm done with a project because sometimes I don't cut enough. Sometimes you cut too much, you know. Right. Depends on how much attention you're paying. Yep, so I keep those dies and a little go me right there yep. next to right me in case I mix those. I do too. All right, and I know what you mean, and that's why I love the larger racks for our strip dies. Yes. Now, Quilters, this is an online exclusive item. Did yes. you hear that? Online exclusive. Yep. And the slots are wide enough to hold a strip die and a mat. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, it's not available from our retailers. It's only available online today, but use that code STRIP20. That's right. I have some at home. I know you have some at I home. Do. And we use them here in our own dream studio as well. They are great for storing those strip dies. So be sure you grab a couple today. I have a really funny story about it. Okay, tell me. Okay, so I keep mine on the floor. Okay. In front of my, my sewing table. Okay. And I have them lined up. And then when I would want to get a strip die, I'd be like practically laying on the floor to read the label on the side. Yes. You know, I'd be all bent over. And one day it occurred to me, you know what? These are my dies. There's no die police. I can take my Sharpie and write six inches yes. across the top. And then I could just look and see what it was. Oh, that's a great it idea. It took me longer than I want to admit to come up with that idea. So um, I keep them in order of smallest to largest. See, that's just smart. I don't know. That's just smart. But I love that idea. <laughs> Okay, so, so get you those racks because they're perfect for those big. Oh, they are. And not just so like your log cabin dies will fit in there oh, and your right. Cleopatra's fan. Right. Or the 6 by 24s too. All the 6 by 24s yep. as well. All right, don't forget, Quilters, until midnight central time, you're going to get 20% off your entire order using crazy. the promo code STRIP20. They don't know this. I'm sure this nobody knows. This is crazy. 
And you're going to get your storage rack today at 20% yep. off. So you can start um, organizing your space more efficiently. And the brand new strip dies that we just launched this morning are part of that 20% yeah, off. Don't tell. Don't let Lynn know. But she isn't here. Yeah. Plus, save up to 44% on eligible, already marked down items when you use that code. All right, I just love having access to the storage rack. Again, it helps me keep yeah. things organized. It makes All a right. difference. It does. All right, quilters, prepare yourselves because our experts are about to receive, uh, reveal their final projects. Once they do, we're going to ask you, our viewers, to vote on your favorite. So be sure to stick around for all the fun. All right. Now it's time to see what our experts have created for their final challenge projects. I'm really excited. I for am this. really excited. All right, Barbara, let's see what you've got for us. Well, here it is. I call it Big Star and Big Strip. I've got six strips. I alternated some fabric. And then I used the 45 degree diamond to make a guide to make a huge star. And look how it just showcases this fabric that we have here. This is ready for a six inch border of your choosing. You've got a perfect baby quilt or one big block in a big quilt. So my design is a quilt block. It's 33 inches by 33 inches. Let me just show you some flexibility on what you could do with this. Here's another one I've started. Same six strips. Um, this time I cut my star and look how the pattern uh, came out on this. Um, and then I'm just getting ready to put some more detail to it by using my little dinosaur cutouts. So this is the big star and big strips quilt block. I hope you like it. Okay, okay, we're so, having a whole conversation about that. Oh, okay, so the way that is so brilliant is that I think she took her strip, her six inch strip, right. and she cut those strips, but she pieced them. She had a couple of different fabrics. To make the background. To make that background. Then she cut the diamonds. Okay. But I think she put fusible on it, and she used them as an applique, which is brilliant because then there are no Y seams. Oh, all hail to Barbara. I'm that telling you, that so is so smart. clever. That is so smart. Oh my gosh. Okay, so much okay. easier because in our quilting heads, we're like, man, she had to sew so white seams. We were talking about that earlier. Yes, but she didn't. And just that one block, it's a whole baby quilt. Yeah, 33 and a half inches. Yeah, it's okay. perfect. All right, let's see what Marianne's got. Marianne, what have you created? That's on the way to Cape May. Uh, my window pane wall hanging and I do call it on the way to Cape May because it looks just like the Cape May lighthouse unbeknownst to me. I bought the panel. I loved it. It was a beach scene and what do you know? It was serendipitous. Uh, I made it using the two and three quarter inch and a one and a half inch strip die. There are no Y seams as much as it may look like it. No Y seams. I also went and used the stars. Uh, this is the five, five, zero, two, eight, two, three, and four inch stars. And I used the two inch stars and I cut out seven appliques and put them on the top because it reminded me of when we used to get to the Jersey Shore right around twilight when the light was still, the sun was still shining, but the stars had started to come out. So this is my window pane wall hanging on the way to Cape May. I hope you enjoy. Well, that was very clever. There. You know, I think what, how to work with panels is a question we get a lot of times we do. from quilters. And that was so clever. And she used two of the strip dies. I wonder how she did it without Y seams though. Yeah, I feel like you, she must have cut them at the angle, right? Yeah, and sewn them together. Yeah, she must have. She must have. That's hmm. very, very clever. Very, very and clever. And we both love the beach and feel like we you do. put your toes in the water, it heals your soul. It does. And the little <laughs> stars for at night, it is a magical time. It is beautiful. Sure. All right, quilters, voting is now open. We're certainly glad we don't have to choose. That's right. If you're watching via our registration link, the voting box is found in the chat section just below where you type. That's right. And if you're joining us on Facebook or YouTube, just type your favorite into the comment section. We will tally them at the end of voting. All right, so while we wait for your votes to come in, hurry up and vote, remember that you can get 20% off your order. You have to use the promo code STRIP20. So that means you can take 20% off of both of our new strip dies, which is unheard of. Never, ever does that happen. But Lynn's not here, so we're it's doing okay. it. I know. Storage racks, those great storage racks we talked about, the 9-inch cubes. It makes it under, what was it, $130? $130. Crazy. 
and many other AccuQuilt items. And don't forget, you can save up to 44% on price on items that are already marked down yep. when it comes to using this code, but it's only available till midnight central time. That's right. All right, now we wanted to make this a great launch and our friends at Shannon Fabrics oh. have given us these wonderful see. fabric Wait kits. Wait you see. Now, normally, Erica, they just give us fabric bundles, but these are kits that these you can actually kits. make little quilts yes, with. Yes, and they're for little strip quilts. Imagine that. Imagine that, and look, they both have stars. It's just perfect. All right, shall we give them away? We should. All right, so Shannon Fabric really knows how to make you feel uh, all warm and fuzzy inside and out. Oh, that's so clever. I know, isn't that <laughs> cute? Good job, Caden. All right, the <laughs> winner of our first quilt kit is, drum roll please, Margaret L. from Albany, New York. I feel like oh, soon, congratulations. congratulations soon that Margaret will need warm and fuzzy things in yes, Albany, New York. in Albany, New York, oh, absolutely. And the winner of our second Stars and Strips quilt kit is, drum roll please, Rhonda H. from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Oh, it's going to get chilly there, it too. It is, too. Congratulations. Congratulations to both our winners. All right, a huge thank you to our friends at Shannon for the lovely kits and for making the world a softer place. We do love our friends at Shannon Fabrics. All right, I am so excited to see today's projects. Some of them are, I have a favorite. You I'm do? I'm really excited, yeah. Okay, well our designers have been working very hard to create some wonderful new designs. Let's share some of that creative energy with everyone while they cast their vote for today's expert winner. Our new dies are sure to inspire some wonderful projects. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so here is today's first project. Okay, you ready? Ready? It, yes. It is called Go Starry American Throw Quilt. And okay, first of all, um, Jeannie LeBron is the designer. She's one of our designers and did an absolutely beautiful it's brilliant. job. brilliant. Just beautiful job. So this is our Go Starry Path die, mm -hmm. which finished just what size block, Erica? Nine inches. Nine inches. So Jeannie used the Go Starry Path, which is on sale now. It's part of that way big discount. Right, right. Like less than $45. Like crazy? Yes. And then this is that two and three quarter inch strip. Do we not love a good piano key we quarter? We do. And this is the perfect size. It's going to pair up perfectly with a nine inch block. Nine inch You cube. can see just how it lines up. It makes the cornerstones, it makes the sashing, and it does that piano key border. Yes. And it also does the outer border. Right. So really, you get a nine Look inch cube, yes. you get the starry path, you get our new strip die, you've got everything you need. It's just You're be right fabulous. here. It's so right. fun. And you could substitute any nine right. inch mix and match block in there for the same effect. I love it. It's beautiful. Good job, Jeannie. All right. Next, we had really tall Mike yes. come. Yes, to because bring this, this is one. a really big quilt by Heidi Pridemore of the Whimsical Workshop. Heidi did a great job. It's the Go Color Bar In case bar you all wondered what Mike quilt. looked like, that's how he looks. That's how he okay, looks. Okay, so we had a whole huge discussion on this. Okay, we did. so first of all, Heidi used our big six inch strips, right? And then, Erica, how big is this strip? That's the. It cuts at two inches, so it finishes at one and a half. Yeah, look at how pretty this is. Sets it off. And we used ombre, we didn't, Heidi used ombre <laughs> fabric. And it's so lovely because it starts from that light and works to the dark. The thing that I love about this quilt, and it goes together in a snap, is that usually we think about making our quilts in rows. Yes. And this one actually starts in that corner right here. and builds out just like the design does. Yeah, it's super cool. And it's got really fun wavy quilting on yep, it that kind of sets, diamonds. offsets the, the straight lines in the design. It's awesome, great job. And the fabric is, oh, we don't know. Yes, oh. it's okay, Heidi we, made it. Heidi will tell us, okay. it's gorgeous. Thank, Thank you for you, being Mr. tall, Mike. Mike. Yes. <laughs> well, I couldn't hold it. Okay, this is my favorite <laughs> one. This is the Lattice Throw Quilt by Missy oh. Shepler. I know Erica's got to do some stuff. Normally I know. have Lynn's Lynn here. here to bring them out. She's not here. I know. Okay, so this one is called um, the Lattice Throw Quilt. Missy Shepler of Shepler Studios, and our fabrics are Dear Stella. So talk about this, Erica, in the fact that this is the 9-inch cube, right? Right. She's used that 9-inch cube. This is shape number 4, the quarter square triangle. And then she's used the sashing, but it's all on point. 
And I yes. absolutely love how she's done the quilting. So in the sashing, she's done a tight quilting just back and forth, but then she's got just a big open space with a tight quilting in the middle. Right. Really makes these pop, just pop off the the and they're quilt. puffy, which is what yeah. I love. And it has kitty cats for days and all the fabric. kitty cats, like pearl. Black like and white, pearl. like Black pearl. Black and white, like pearl. Yeah. It's beautiful. So great job. This is my name. If Lynn were here, she would take this one, she I She would, so we better hide it. Yeah. Okay. We've got another one. Oh, this is my favorite. This is totally my favorite. This is the Go Onward Throw Quilt. This one was designed by Terry Vandenbosch. She is Lizard Creek Quilting. Thank you, Terry. And she's used Northcott fabrics on this, and it's totally my palette. It is totally your palette. Again, she used that two and three quarter inch strip, nine inch cube to make flying geese. Flying geese in every cube. Erica, what two dies does she need? Four and five shapes. Four and, Four and five. five, and every cube will go together to make flying geese. So everything that you need to make this quilt on sale today at least 20% off. That's right. Nine it's inch fabulous. cube, two and three quarter strip, you're done. Good job. Love okay, it. we have another huge one by okay, our good so friend, Michelle Mike. Peters. This is called Touchdown Throw Quilt. That's right. All right, so should we talk about, we used that Let's big six-inch strip, right? We did, and then she's used it down here for our football field. We've got our different colors of green. Yes. We've used our classic alphabet to spell yes. out Touchdown, and again, free downloadable embroidery. Yep. She's just used machine embroidery for numbers. Right. But the quilting has footballs on it. Does, it does, right here. Isn't that amazing? Look how fun. You know what else we could have added? What? We could have added footballs from our Go Sports Medley die. Oh, yes, it's our limited edition die here we for this month. We still have try. some available, and this would be a great chance to pick it up. It is football season here in Nebraska. So it is always football season yes. here in Nebraska. Go Huskers. Thank That's you. Right. Thank you, Mike. Oh, wait, we didn't see the back of it. Wait, oh, come the back. back has to. See, now we're seeing Mike. I, can't, I stopped him. Look, it's Look. got footballs all over it. Footballs for days. And you can see Mike. And we get to see Mike. Thanks, Mike. I'll hear about that later. You will. It's okay. <laughs> all right, quilters, remember, each of these patterns are free downloadable from AccuQuilt.com. Yep. That's right. And if you want to create, remember, a sports-themed quilt, we still have some of those sports medley dies left. And they don't just have footballs, do they? No, they have. You can make basketballs and baseballs and gloves and soccer balls soccer and volleyballs. Yeah, so many options. All the sports stuff so for days. So be sure to get your hands on one before they're gone. Yep. All right, don't forget that we have a blog if you want more AccuQuilt fun. We cover everything there from organizational tips and tricks to project tutorials and everything in between. So be sure you subscribe so you're notified whenever a new post goes live. Now don't forget quilters, we have this great deal for you until midnight central time. You're gonna get 20% off your entire order using that promo code STRIP20. Okay, so let's just review for a minute. That's right. So the two and three quarters and six inch strip are part of that. Yes, so, so those 20% are eight, off, yeah, $80. Dies. Yep. The nine inch cube is less than $130. Yep. The Starry Path and Glorified Nine Patch, which both finished to a nine oh, inch yeah. block, less than $45. Oh my and gosh. And the Ready, Set, Go, this is, this is it's 44% off at $270 oh my and it will ship free. And don't forget, we're up to 18 strip dies and they're all gonna be 20% off. Yes, all of them. All of them. All right. Um, some exclusions do apply, so be sure and check the website for details. And if you spend more than $150 today and live in the contiguous U.S., we're going to ship it to you for free. So remember that the special is only available for a limited time, midnight tonight, so be sure to take advantage of it before it or what you want are gone. There you go. To order during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image here. It will take you directly to our site. That's right. And if you don't have access to a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser. So go to the top of the page and click on the little plus sign. In that very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party. You can see the deal and place your order. That way, you're not going to miss a minute of Pam and I in the show. There you go. You can also find these new dies individually at our website or from your local AccuQuilt retailer. To locate a retailer near you, go to the top right of our website and look for that store locator. Don't forget, quilters, those big racks, those are online exclusive. Yes. You can't get those from your retailer. That's right. Now, remember, quilters, we do have financing options. For details on that, visit AccuQuilt.com financing because we want everyone to know the joy of quilting with AccuQuilt. 
Now, remember to join me every Wednesday, which is tomorrow, which at is tomorrow. 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuote Live on our Facebook and YouTube channels. Uh, we're taking an in-depth look at that sports medley That's die. Right. I have the funnest project that I'm going to make. Do. It's going to be you super do. fun, so be sure to join me. I love watching your shows. They're always so much fun. And sometimes you get to join me, which is sometimes even more fun. Sometimes they do show up. Okay. Sometimes they show up when you're not here. I, that's the best part, <laughs> just so you know. All right, Quilters, the time has come. Our team has counted all of your votes, and it's time to announce the today's expert winner. Did you have a favorite? Really tough today. It really was. Really tough. It was. Will it be Barbara with her big stars and big strips? Or Marianne on her way to Cape May? Well, you voted and decided that our winner is Mary Ann. Congratulations, Congratulations. Mary Ann. I think it's that inspiration of yes. how to use that panel right. to frame it out like that. That's super cool. And like right. I said, I think that's something quilters always look for because we're attracted to those panels. Yeah. And then we get them home and we're like, now what? Now what should I do that with That was them? a great treatment. It's a great it. idea. So don't forget, when you register for our Live Tuesday events, you are entered into our So Hot, hot Summer Sweepstakes with a grand prize of $500. But quilters, you have to register for a minimum amount of events to qualify. So be sure to check out the rules. I know there are rules There's on the events page, on our events page to get the details in order to win. That's right. Well, it's time for us to wrap up our Stars and Strips event. We hope that you are as excited as we are about all the creative possibilities with these two new strip dies. Oh, and thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to join us again next week, next Tuesday, July 27th at noon Central Time for a new mix and match event called Master Sashing Techniques. Okay, I was a little worried about this event. I love it. Oh, so much inspiration. So much your, in my your, quilting head makes your, me your think. Your little quilting heads are going to be blown. Yep. This event is going to feature our favorite guest and number one stripper, the one and only Miss Eleanor Burns. Eleanor is coming. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We have so many exciting events coming up, so be sure and check our events page to register, and then you will be part to enter to win and the So oh, hot, hot Summer Sweepstakes for even more chances to win. That's right. And if you're new here and not sure what fabric cutter you might need, today is a great day to get one. So be sure to stay after the show to learn more about which cutter might be right for you. And if you're looking at that Ready, Set, Go, 44% off today. Super deal. All right, Erica. Super deal. Thanks so much for joining us, quilters. I hope you stop by next week as we talk about master sashing techniques. That's right. So if you've been waiting for the end of the show before you buy, now's the time. That's the time. So here's the link. We want you to be sure that you get everything that you need before that promo code expires. And remember, quilters at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.